who is this guy who is the man what did he study where did he study maxwell chikambutso was just 14 years old when he dropped out of school in zimbabwe at the time, he was just a kid obsessed with wires, machines, and what he called visions. Uh, I was born in a very poor family. I started to see visions, and up to until now, I see visions, very clear visions, not even when I'm not asleep. Mm. Since then, Maxwell says he has built a car that charges itself, a helicopter powered by invisible waves and a generator that never needs to be refueled. The, 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 the vehicle it uses what we call the microsonic energy device. Microsonic energy device, which is the, the device that I personally invented in 2009, which harness radio frequencies converted into energy. As you know, radio frequencies, they are measured in nano volts, meaning to say they are less than a volt, they are just like nothing. But we find a way of harnessing it through the, the, the creation of for the 70% of the components in the microsonic energy, which I tell me we have designed. The media called him Africa's Tesla, but scientists? They called it a hoax. Patent offices refused to register it. Engineers said it violates the laws of physics and everything we understand about energy. So they wanted to arrest him for changing physics. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Even when we tried to file a patent, they said we were violating the natural laws of physics. Mm. So it's not an industrial applicable. So who's telling the truth? Is Maxwell Chikambutso a genius suppressed by a system that can't explain him? Or is this the greatest tech illusion of the 21st century? Well, we're about to find out. This is the story of the man who says he broke physics, and the world that didn't want to believe him. Maxwell Chikambutso grew up far from the bright lights of the world's tech hubs, in Zimbabwe. His journey began simply, but his vision would stretch beyond anything his surroundings could predict. He left school at 14, not because he struggled, but because the traditional classroom could not satisfy his restless mind. While other kids followed textbooks, Maxwell's education came from taking apart radios and televisions, teaching himself the secrets of electronics one circuit at a time. This was a boy driven by curiosity and determination, who saw the hidden potential in machines most people overlooked. By the age of 17, Maxwell had already made a name for himself. He built a radio broadcasting transmitter that caught the attention of Zimbabweans nationwide. This was not a mere hobbyist project, it was a complex feat of reverse engineering that no formal education could have easily prepared him for. His growing reputation and skills led him to found Sayeth Technologies, a company whose name came to him during a moment of deep reflection on a mountain. Whether inspired by divine intervention or pure inspiration, this moment marked the start of a path that would lead Maxwell into the heart of the world's most controversial invention. The year was 2009, a time when Zimbabwe was grappling with a crippling electricity crisis. It was then that Maxwell announced something extraordinary. He said he had created a generator capable of producing electricity without relying on any fuel source. No gasoline powering engines, no solar panels soaking up sunlight, no massive turbines spinning in the wind. Just raw electricity pulled seemingly from the air itself. Our car is the first car. This is a generator. I think if you can go to the fridge, you can see. It's going to plug in and you'll see that the fridge is going to be powered by a car. Like I said, you can buy a car. You don't need to have a generator at your home. You use your car. The technology was called microsonic energy, and it claimed to harvest the countless radio waves all around us from A, M, N, F, M, radio, to cell phone signals and Wi-Fi, transforming these invisible signals into usable, clean power. Imagine being surrounded every day by invisible streams of energy, flowing past you, untapped and overlooked. Maxwell insists he was the first person in history to find a way to capture this endless source and turn it into power you could rely on. But he didn't stop there. His company claimed to have built an electric car that charged itself endlessly, a helicopter powered by radio frequencies, and motorcycles that could run indefinitely without ever needing to be plugged in. These were not small inventions. They were visions of a world without energy constraints. The boldness of these claims rang alarm bells. Even Maxwell admits his invention defies what science tells us about energy. Patent offices around the world rejected his applications, declaring his devices impossible because they violate the fundamental laws that govern physics. 
Instead of backing down, Maxwell reframed these rejections as proof of just how revolutionary his technology was. He claimed that science was simply not ready to understand the breakthrough he had made. According to him, the very laws of thermodynamics, the laws that say energy cannot be created or destroyed but only transformed, are incomplete. His machines, he argues, produce more energy than they consume, a concept dismissed by most scientists as the pursuit of perpetual motion machines, devices that have tantalized inventors for centuries but never been realized. Despite the controversy, Maxwell's story captured global attention. In January 2025, he demonstrated his inventions directly to Zimbabwe's president, Emerson Mnangagwa, who ended his national leave early just to witness the technology in action. So with this car, you can also use it to power your house. It is a moving generator. When you drive from work uh, back to your home, you can connect your power cable, then you can power your house. It, is, it gives you 15 kilowatts uh, power to power your house. And the vehicle itself, it has got 160 uh, kilowatts electric motor, which gives you a torque of about 300 and, uh, 380, 320 to 380 newton meters of, meters of torque. That means it's, it's fast. And um, we are talking of a um, horsepower of around 215 horsepower. So when we compare this car with the, with the same cars of, of this model, like the Toyota, the Toyota um, Urban Cruiser, you will see that this is um, efficient in everything. When you talk of load, our car it doesn't weigh much, it weighs 1,405 kgs only. When you talk of an urban cruiser, you're talking of about 1,800, so that means you can carry extra baggage in the vehicle. Top speed is 220 kilometers per hour, yeah, which is fast. It has got two driving modes. We have got the sport mode, which will give you 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in around two seconds. That is very, very powerful. Then we've got what we call a normal driving mode when you want to drive like in town. You can select that one so that it, it won't give you a, a lot of torque. Maxwell showcased his so-called feel-free car alongside his microsonic energy device and motorcycle prototypes. This presidential nod ignited a firestorm of debate. Critics accused Maxwell of trickery and deception, claiming the demonstrations were staged and the devices were powered by hidden conventional sources. Under pressure, Zimbabwe's government deleted all social media posts promoting the inventions, deepening the mystery around Maxwell's work. Yet, regardless of whether the technology works, Maxwell's impact transcends the machines themselves. He has become a symbol of African innovation, a shining example of how brilliance can emerge from unexpected places. His story resonates deeply across the continent, inspiring millions who see in him a beacon of hope that Africa can lead on the global technological stage. Maxwell often speaks passionately about his mission to end energy poverty across Africa by harvesting radio frequencies, bringing clean energy to the millions without access. He also voices concerns that, as a black African inventor, his ideas could be stolen or dismissed, highlighting the broader issue of African innovators struggling for recognition and respect in a global landscape that often overlooks them. This divide between believers and skeptics defines much of Maxwell's story. Supporters view him as a visionary, unfairly suppressed by entrenched scientific institutions threatened by a new form of energy that could upend the status quo. They point to history's great pioneers, Galileo, the Wright brothers, whose revolutionary ideas were once dismissed before changing the world. Meanwhile, skeptics emphasize the complete absence of independent verification. Despite nearly a decade of public demonstrations, fact-checkers and scientists alike say there is no credible evidence that Maxwell's inventions perform as claimed. Skepticism is not born of closed minds but rooted in centuries of tested physical laws that govern energy, laws that have never failed to explain how the universe works. The frustrating reality lies in the demonstrations themselves. Maxwell often shows devices producing electric output, but these events lack the controlled conditions necessary to rule out conventional energy sources or hidden batteries. For Maxwell's claims to be taken seriously by the scientific community, rigorous testing in independent laboratories would be essential. This process, standard for any breakthrough technology, has not yet happened. Supporters argue that this is to protect valuable intellectual property, while critics see the absence of testing as a red flag that the technology may not stand up to scrutiny. If Maxwell's claims were true, the implications would be staggering beyond imagination. Climate change could be reversed overnight with unlimited clean energy. Billions of people suffering from energy poverty could be lifted out of darkness. 
Entire global industries worth trillions would be disrupted. This would not be a small step forward, but a seismic shift in human civilization itself. Countries like Zimbabwe could rise as new energy powerhouses, while remote communities worldwide could gain power without costly infrastructure. The science behind radio frequency energy harvesting is well understood. Radio waves are a form of electromagnetic energy captured by radios and converted into sound. But the amount of energy present in ambient radio waves is minuscule, barely enough to power tiny sensors or RFID tags. For Maxwell's technology to truly work on the scale of cars or homes, it would need to be billions of times more efficient than anything known today. This is not a small evolution but a revolution in our understanding of electromagnetic energy. Almost 10 years after Maxwell first made his claims, no independent scientific group has verified his technology. This is unusual for a discovery with such profound potential. The standard route for revolutionary inventions is clear. Submit to testing by unbiased experts, publish results, and let the world validate the breakthrough. Maxwell has yet to follow this path, which leaves supporters clinging to the hope that he is protecting his work, and critics convinced that this silence signals a lack of substance. Even if the technology never passes scientific muster, Maxwell's story has already left a mark, especially across Africa. He is more than an inventor. He is a symbol of the continent's boundless potential. His journey inspires young Africans to dream bigger, to believe that innovation can come from anywhere, regardless of background or circumstance. Comments from across the continent celebrate Maxwell as proof that Africa belongs in the global conversation on science and technology. The question remains, what is the truth behind Maxwell Chikambuzo? After nearly a decade of worldwide attention, no definitive answer has emerged. He is either one of the most important inventors of our time or an incredibly persuasive storyteller who has captured millions with a vision that defies belief. The scientific community remains skeptical due to the lack of independent testing and apparent contradictions with known physics. Yet Maxwell continues to draw supporters who believe he is a visionary silenced by an unwilling world. Until Maxwell submits to rigorous independent verification, the debate will rage on. Both his believers and his critics must grapple with incomplete information. What is undeniable is that Maxwell has done something remarkable. He has captured global attention with claims so extraordinary, they force us to question the limits of what might be possible if the laws of physics as we know them are not the whole story. Whether Maxwell truly broke the laws of physics or broke barriers in human imagination, his story carries a powerful message. Revolutionary breakthroughs can come from anywhere, achieved by anyone willing to challenge what the world believes is possible. Maxwell Chikambuzo may one day be remembered as the man who changed the course of civilization, or the dreamer who dared to imagine it could be changed at all. Either way, his story has already altered how millions think about the power of human potential, and perhaps that is the greatest invention of all.